Today, we're going to go over the process of subscribing to SAS Contract Private Offers. We're going to cover an overview of subscribing to SAS Contract Private Offers, navigating to a private offer, demos for subscribing to SAS Contract Private Offers with upfront purchases and FPS, invoicing terms for SAS Contract Private Offers, troubleshooting 404 errors, and then we'll wrap up with key takeaways and FAQs. To start, let's go over important acronyms related to this program. AMI stands for Amazon Machine Image. Amazon EC2 stands for Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. CP stands for Channel Partner. FPS stands for Flexible Payment Scheduler. ISV stands for Independent Software Vendor. And SAS stands for Software as a Service. ISVs and channel partners are the most common types of partners to list in AWS Marketplace. In this presentation, when we refer to AWS partners or sellers, we are referring to either of these parties. Let's start with an overview of SaaS contract private offers. Before we dive in, let's review the types of products supported by private offers. There are six types of private offers available for customers to subscribe to. AMI Annual Private Offers, AMI Hourly Private Offers, SaaS Contract Private Offers, SaaS Subscription Private Offers, Container Private Offers, and Professional Services Private Offers. Today, we will be discussing SaaS Contract Private Offers. Now, we'll look at what SaaS Contract Private Offers are and how they're used. With SaaS subscriptions and SaaS contracts, customers subscribe to a seller's products in AWS Marketplace, but access the product in the seller's AWS environment. After subscribing to the product, the customer is directed to a website the seller has created and manages as a part of their SaaS product. There, the seller will register their account and configure the product. The seller is responsible for managing customer access, account creation, resource provisioning, and account management within their software. SaaS contract products bill buyers upfront or by the payment schedule dictated in the private offer. SaaS contracts with consumption products allow for additional usage beyond the buyer's initial purchase. AWS Marketplace bills the buyer on the third of the month after the ISV has sent metering records through the AWS Marketplace metering service. Now, we'll walk through the process of navigating to a SaaS contract private offer. There are two ways to access the SaaS contract private offer. First, the buyer needs to sign into the AWS account they want to use to subscribe to the private offer. The first option for accessing a private offer is to open the private offer URL that was sent by the seller. The second option is for the buyer to navigate to the AWS Marketplace homepage, search for the product they want to purchase, choose Continue to Subscribe, then select the private offer from the drop-down menu titled Offer Selection. Now, let's take a look at how to subscribe to a SaaS contract private offer. As a reminder, these are private offers where the buyer makes an upfront purchase and does not use FPS. First, the customer will sign in to the AWS account they want to use to subscribe to the private offer. Next, they'll navigate to the private offer. Then, they'll select the applicable term in the contract duration section. From here, the customer will enter their specified quantity for the applicable dimension in the contract options section. They'll review the pricing to ensure it aligns with their buying needs. And finally, they'll choose Create Contract. From there, a confirmation page will open indicating a successful subscription, and the customer will be prompted to set up their account. It is important to note that AWS does not provision SaaS products to buyers. Therefore, buyers must complete registration on the seller's website after finishing the subscription in AWS Marketplace. The buyer will be billed upfront for the amount they have subscribed to. If the product also includes consumption, they will be billed for any additional usage on the third of the following month, provided the ISV sends AWS metering records for the additional usage. Now let's go over the process for creating a custom payment schedule for SaaS contract private offer subscriptions. First, the customer will sign in to the AWS account they want to use to subscribe to the private offer. Then, they'll navigate to the private offer. From there, they will review the pricing and payment schedule. Finally, they'll choose Create Contract. 
From there, a confirmation page will open indicating a successful subscription and the customer will be prompted to set up their account. As with SaaS contract private offers upfront purchases, AWS does not provision SaaS products to buyers. It is important to complete registration on the seller's website after finishing the subscription in AWS Marketplace. The customer will be billed per the payment schedule dictated in the private offer they have subscribed to. If the product also includes consumption, the customer will be billed for additional usage on the third of the following month, provided the ISV sends AWS metering records for the additional usage. Now, we'll look at how to switch to invoicing terms. For buyers to accept private offers with one or more scheduled payments, the buyer must be on invoicing terms with AWS. This is also referred to as ACH Direct Debit Payment. To switch an account to invoicing terms and accept a private offer with scheduled payments, contact the customer service team and include the following details. Account and billing support. Type, marketplace. Category, marketplace buyer request. Description, I would like to switch my account to invoicing terms to accept a private offer. And company name, contact name, phone number, email, and mailing address. Now, let's walk through 404 troubleshooting. If you receive a 404 error while trying to view and subscribe to a private offer, please follow the below troubleshooting tips. Is this the correct account? The customer should confirm they are logged in to the correct account ID. Confirm with the ISV or channel partner, if applicable, that the private offer is created for the correct account ID. Is the private offer expired? Confirm with the ISV or CP that the private offer is still available for the customer to view. If the private offer has expired, the ISV or CP can modify the expiration date of the private offer in the Offers tab of their AWS Marketplace Management Portal. Is the customer using a private marketplace? If yes, ensure the product is on the Allow list of their private marketplace so they can purchase the product. Is the account ID Allow listed to view the private offer? Some ISVs use limited listings, which are products not available on the public marketplace for private offer transactions. Ask the ISV if the product is a limited listing and if they have allowed the customer's account to view it. If all of those details have been confirmed and the customer still receives a 404 error, they should try clearing their cache, deleting cookies, logging out, then logging back in, using an incognito window, or trying a different browser. Please note that we do not recommend using Internet Explorer. Now, let's recap what we just learned about subscribing to SaaS contract private offers and cover some frequently asked questions. Today, we learned about SaaS contract private offers. Subscribing to SaaS contract private offers with either scheduled payments or an upfront purchase. And invoicing terms and 404 troubleshooting. Now let's go over some frequently asked questions. Question number one. Where can I confirm that I am successfully subscribed to a private offer? Answer. You can view your active subscriptions in the Manage Subscription section of your AWS Marketplace console. Also, any bills generated from accepting the private offer will be available in your AWS Billing Console. Question number two. I forgot to complete registration on the seller's website after I subscribed to the private offer on AWS Marketplace. Can I go back? Answer. Yes, any associated website links for the software subscription you purchased through AWS Marketplace can be found under Your Marketplace Software when you are signed into your AWS Marketplace account. Thank you. If you have any further questions, please reach out to us.